Here in the U.S., a federal judge has blocked a new Biden administration policy aimed at reducing illegal crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border. The policy took effect in May, and it seemed to be working. In June, the number of crossings plummeted. Ed O'Keefe is in Washington, and he has more on all of this. Ed, good morning. Nate, good to see you. The ruling is a significant loss for the Biden administration as it tries to lower the number of illegal crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border. The policy in question had required migrants to first seek humanitarian refuge in another country on their journey to the U.S. before they could apply for asylum after crossing the border. Some migrants were exempt, including unaccompanied minors and those fleeing imminent harm. But those who didn't qualify for an exemption and crossed anyway could be deported and banished from the U.S. for five years. After the policy was implemented, Border Patrol agents saw a sharp drop in the number of illegal border crossings. Customs and Border Protection logged just under 100,000 what they call migrant encounters in June, down from more than 171,000 in May. But the California-based U.S. Ju district judge who ruled in the case said the new policy violates U.S. asylum law, which allows migrants to seek refuge no matter how they entered the country. His ruling will not take effect for two weeks. The Justice Department quickly appealed the decision and is asking it to be put on hold while the case is heard. Dana? All right, Ed, we'll keep watching. Thank you.